Bada bing, bada boom. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know we can't start a video without the Stunner Shades on. It's your boy, Nightmare Effect. Welcome back to another video. Um, I've been doing a lot of research lately, and recently I've come to realize that tutorials, guides are what's really popping for Strive, right? Because it's a new game. Everybody wants to know how to play it. People want to know the tech. Like, people just want to know stuff. So today's video... I am going to be talking about movement, air dashing, and I want to lean more towards why you shouldn't be so predictable with it. Yes, why you shouldn't be so predictable with it. So without further ado, um, before we get into the video, before I run my intro, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to five uploads a week. You won't miss a beat. The road to 5k is almost complete. I can't get there without the help of y'all. Y'all are my backbone. Y'all are the reason why I do it. Let's get into it. So like I said, y'all, quick video on air movement. I don't really want to talk y'all heads off because I feel like this topic could be brought into different scenarios. I just want to give y'all like a basic guide on it. So when you go into watching high levels play, right? The footsies of this game, the forcing the opponents to make a mistake, it's all about air movement and how you're controlling the space, right? You either control the space with buttons, uh, projectiles if your character has one, or actual air movement, right? You're, you're pump faking, you're back dashing, you're just looking to bait into causing them to throw that one button that's gonna cause them to get knocked down and then the party gets started. So, after you get your air movement going, you're doing your neutral jumps, your back dashing, you have this forward dash animation that procs, right? Anytime you go for the air movement, you're gonna see this circle that pops up before you actually project forward, right? So, if you're predictable with this, it's gonna be very easy for your opponent to hit you with a 6P, right? because of the circle that pops up first. So this is actually a bad habit that I see a lot of new players do, right? They get impatient because their opponent isn't giving them something that's gonna cause them to start their pressure. So they just start air dashing, air dashing, air dashing, right? So if I record Ki Wakai doing this, right? This is very easy to anti-air because of the air movement animation that you see first. So this is why it's good to not be predictable with it. So the more my games you play, the more offbeat that you're gonna be in causing your opponent to have to look for multiple different things at one time. The gist of this video, y'all, is to not be predictable with your air movement. Like, if you're a new player, please try your best to not rely on just the regular raw dash forward, right? Because like I said, you're gonna see that circle first before you actually project yourself forward. So the moment you start doing it, it's gonna be very easy to anti-air. Very easy, right? So the more mind games you play, you're gonna be able to actually just get in different ways. So once you finally do it, your opponent shouldn't be looking for it. If you still get 6P when you finally do air dash, then your opponent just has good reactions, right? You shouldn't feel bad. So yeah, y'all, quick video. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't want to talk your heads off because this topic is pretty straightforward. Um, be adverse as possible, right? Uh, try to use air dashes, but don't be so simple-minded with them. Y'all enjoy the video. Please remember, Please remember, y'all, please remember to hit that subscribe button. We're getting very close to the 5K mark. For those who don't hit the subscribe button, y'all are going to see me pass out on the floor. And y'all don't want that, all right? Because y'all want me to stay healthy, stay full of energy, and stay hyped with the content that I push. So if, if y'all don't want me to pass out, you know, hit the subscribe button. It don't take much. Five uploads a week, you won't miss a beat. The road to 5K is almost complete, y'all. I cannot get that without the help of y'all. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, a like, and let me know how I did. And to finish the video off, if you have any idea or any video that you would like me to cover, put that down in the comment section below. 
Let me know what you want to see, and then I'll think about doing it. No, actually, no, no, no. Ain't no thinking about doing it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. All right, so I'm going to catch you in the next one.